Hovitec. Just a button away. In this tutorial, I'll be explaining how to use SP Flash Tool to flash firmware to a MediaTek Android device. You might have come across a number of SP Flash Tool guides. We also have a very comprehensive guide on how to use SP Flash Tool. But this particular guide is a revised version. It's ideal for those who find the firmware for their device and want to know how to fix it straight up without making it any worse. Now, for you to use SP Flash Tool, there are three main things you are going to need. You are going to need SP Flash Tool itself. You are going to need the firmware for the device which you intend to flash. And you are going to have you are going to need to have installed your MediaTek VCOM drivers. I'll link to all these in, in the description below. Now, once you have these in place, you go ahead and launch SP Flash Tool. In SP Flash Tool, there are five main things to take note of, and I'll be covering each of them very briefly. First, the download agent. Number two, scatter file. Number three, alt file. Number four, flash settings. And number five, the ticked items on the list. So I'll start with the first one, the download agent. For devices with secure boots, you are going to need the download agent for that particular device. If you do not have the DAR file for that device, you will not be able to flash it using SP Flash Tool. Take note that not all devices have secure boots, so you only need the DAR file if your device has secure boots. If you have the DAR file for your device, which happens to be a secure boot device, what you need to do is to load the DAR file. To load the DAR file, you click on Choose in front of Download Agent. You navigate the location of the DAR file for your device, usually in .bin format, and then you click Open. That has loaded the DAR file. But if your device is not secure boot, then you can use the default DAR file in SP Flash Tool. Concerning knowing if your device is secure boot or not, usually during flashing, you will get specific errors. And you can cross check those errors on our list of SP Flash Tool errors, and that is going to tell you if you have a secure boot device or not. Now, once you have your data file sorted, the next thing is the scatter file, the scatter loading. The scatter file you load needs to be for your exact phone model, and you usually find the scatter file inside the firmware for your device. Scatter file is not the same thing as the entire firmware itself, it's just a file in the firmware. This is what the scatter file looks like. This is what you are going to be loading. So to load the scatter file, you click on choose in front of scatter loading file. Select the scatter file and then you click open. Now you notice that items are automatically loaded here and this is how it works. Where your scatter file is located, usually you have other files in the same directory as the scatter file. Although you can manually load them within SP Flash Tool, it's just better for you to just put a scatter file and all the files you intend to flash in the same directory. The names of the files are also very important. Usually they should come named appropriately if you are downloading, if you are getting from the firmware. But if you are flashing from different sources, the file names are very important. And you will find the expected file names in your scatter file. So you click your, you open your scatter file using Notepad++. In a case where you source the files from other sources. Now take note of this field for each partition you want to flash. File name. I'm going to show you, okay, let me just partition as, a, as an example. Let's say I'm looking for boots, for example. All right, so this is a boot partition. Partition boots, file name boot.img. That means the file in the same directory as my scatter file needs to be named boot.img. For SP Flash to automatically load that file when I load the scatter file. 
if your boot is named boot.bin or just boot for example when you load the scatter file the sp flash will not be able to load this boot image because it's not named appropriately so the the names are very important but usually you don't have to worry about this if you are getting all the files from the firmware everything should be named appropriately for you already now that is for the scatter file now for the auth file usually you would not need auth file except for some devices like maybe the alcatels of this world maybe the xiaomi still might need an auth file but for secure boot devices if you do a format then it's going to request for an auth file this is one of the reasons why it's a very terrible idea for you to do a format on a secure boot device because after the format when you are ready to flash proper it's going to request for an auth file so usually you don't need an auth file but for secure boot devices you would need if you have done the format so we can leave that aside you mostly will not need an auth file now for the download option this is very important this is a lot of people get it wrong avoid format or plus download and firmware upgrade especially on secure boot devices because this also these are equivalent of doing a format before you flash and then you are going to run into odd file issues now for non-secure boot devices generally in fact i suggest you just go with download only that's the safest flash option if you are uncertain what to select just go with download only maybe once a while depending on the situation you can try a firmware upgrade but anything with format i strongly suggest you stay away from it because formatting is going to wipe your nv partition which means they're going to begin to have um non imei baseband issues and that is a whole lot of headache so just stay away from formatting so you go with download only now after you load the scatter file you notice that you have a list of items here some ticked some unticked the ticked items are the ones that sp flash has been recognized from this directory because they are named appropriately so that is what is going to be flashing so if you want to leave out certain partitions all you have to do is untick them let's say i want to flash only recovery in this example i want to tick every other item and i tick recovery now avoid making the mistake of ticking a file without the a, a, a box without the corresponding files to flash take a look at this md1.mg for example I do not have a corresponding file because location is empty. That means you cannot find the file to flash for this partition. It would be a mistake for me to go tick this item because it's going to result in an error anyway. So avoid ticking boxes which do not have a corresponding file to flash. And you cannot tick any other item you don't intend to flash. Only only leave those you only leave only tick those you intend to flash. So now once you have your items which you intend to flash in place. The next thing you do is to click download at the top here. I could also mention that you can manually load a file if it's not in the same directory as your scatter file, just in case you are in ever that situation. All you have to do is to go to the partition you want to manually load, let's say for your recovery in this case, I just double click on that location here. And it's going to bring this pop up and select the file you intend to load for that partition and then you click on open and that's how you manually load a file although if they are in the same directory you don't have to you need to do that now back to download you click on download at this point you power up the device still with battery and you do not hold any button then you connect it to the pc via usb cord it's very important to only flash files for your exact phone model flashing a file for a different phone model is going to result in an error and that could cause your phone to go off and not show any sign of life totally dead so i'm going to connect all right so flashing is done for this guide i only i said flash just 
recovery image just to make it fast but you can flash the frame entire firmware if that is what you want to do so that's how to use sp flash show to flash firmware to immediate android device you if you got stuck at any point in this guide then feel free to drop a question in the comments below i will be happy to assist you and if you found this guide helpful ensure to subscribe and share to keep getting tutorials from hovertech